Good morning, friends. I'm walking on my way to vote today for the Australian federal elections. Just thinking it's, it's funny the contrast between the way or the, the context of voting in the Philippines where I grew up and here in Australia. In the Philippines, you have to, after you vote, they put an ink on your uh, thumb so that you don't vote again. Here, it's the opposite. If you don't vote, you get fined. So there's really no flying voters here. They're actually penalizing people for not voting. Otherwise, people might not actually vote. Regardless of the differences, I could see here and everywhere else in the world, there's this sense of despair or disenfranchisement. You know, it's like, does my vote really count? I mean, is there any choices? It's like both political parties or all the major parties are the same. The politicians are out just for themselves. You know, they just give you promises before the election and then they forget it after the election. A lot of those are partly true, yeah. And, and in a way, there's this uh, sense of uh, performance just exercising just casting a ballot once every three years or so that's true but instead of wallowing in despair I chose to I choose to look at the bigger picture in the sense that the government is just one entity in this complex system of society we live in it's just it may be a big one but it's not the be all and end all everything and in a way there are different ways we vote, like um, every time we choose to, for example, either buy a car or commute, that's a vote. Whether I buy this sustainable t-shirt that's uh, twice as expensive as the cheap fast fashion shirt that will end up in a landfill and, will, which, and I know was made using slave labor in foreign countries and things like that, that's a vote. So in a way, everything we do in daily life is a vote of some sort. And also, I'm reminded that not to overestimate my vote. As one person, my vote doesn't really count because I'm just one, you know. But in aggregate, people coming together can tip things. There's this, this thing called the tipping point. Once something reaches a tipping point, then it can change society like reach a tipping point with same-sex marriage here in Australia and now recently in Taiwan. Congratulations, Taiwan. So while it's not really good to overestimate, like, oh, I can change the world in one vote, it's also, not, it's also not good to underestimate it because who knows, you together with a couple of million people leaning one way could be the tipping point. All right, good luck, Australians, and hopefully, Things will change for the better.